Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. We are here in beautiful Manitoba, Canada. We drove 17 hours yesterday to make it to Waterfowl Paradise. We're out here with the boys setting up a big old honker spread. Right now we're getting the A-frame set up, getting the decoy set out. Pretty good conditions right now. We got a full moon, light breeze, and uh, it's gonna be pretty insane. You guys stay tuned. Whew, yeah. Oh yeah, they could be coming from, they'll be coming from the point there, eh? shooting time now and we're just waiting for the geese to fly. Apparently Bobby says there's some in the air and we're just ready to make it rain. <laughs> Don't call much, don't call much. They're doing it, they're doing it. That's a long shot. Good shooting, boys. Good shooting, boys. Woo! That's a good 100 yard dash. First, first goose in Canada ever for me. Hey, let's go, big shoots. Oh, what up? Manitoba we go. Last night they were all right here. Bobby, ready to shoot some birds. We finally made it out here and uh, set up all the layouts. How many layouts? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We have eight layouts out here in a mud field. It was a little bit of a challenge. We kind of started digging some holes, buried it, threw as much mud up on it as we can, put as many decoys as we have out. We're, uh, we're hunting a field tonight and seeing if, basically last night we scouted a little bit and there was thousands of geese and thousands of ducks here piled in. And we're hoping they come back. What time? Hey, what time did they? Uh, were they dumping in last night? Six. Six? Okay, we have an hour. We have an hour, well, ish, before hopefully, just absolute chaos happens. What'd you just say? It's gonna get crazy. It's gonna get crazy. <laughs> Alright, first group just came in, got a little dirt in the eye. We, uh, I don't know, I think we dumped half a dozen of them at least, if not more. That was the first wave of ducks that we've seen all night, until the sun's going down. I think we got, what, an hour left of shooting? Yeah. About an hour. I think the next hour is going to be absolutely ridiculous. There's, they're going to start dumping it. They did it absolutely perfect. Came right in. We actually had ducks land right at our feet. Absolutely incredible. We got one over there. To be honest, I'm not completely sure. I think. We got three or four out of that first group. Jaren's running, getting one. Bob's got one right here. I think we've got a few more scattered out in here. We got birds up, so we gotta move quick. We shot, uh, I think we shot about a half a dozen at least. There's more right here. Smoke the three. We 
are absolutely freaking wrecking house right now. They just keep coming in wave after wave after wave after wave. So many oh, that's perfect. Here. There we go, baby. There we go, baby. Starting to come together now. That group absolutely did it dirty. That was great. More birds flying, let's get back to the blind. Absolutely insane. Made this whole Canada trip worth it. This is what I was dreaming about. This morning was tough. We grinded, but we came back and we busted them. That was sick, buddy. We'll to give a little dab it up. It was a nice little uh, morale booster this evening, and the birds just didn't want to work, cooperate. We finally got a little pickup tonight and got some birds to do it. Hopefully, the next few days we'll keep up with it with this cold front coming in. Jaren, how's the hunt? Pretty good. What about tonight? What was your favorite part? Oh, I, I don't know. What, what's your favorite part? Guy Just, Bob, how was, how was the evening hunt? Oh my goodness, we worked for that one, didn't we? We worked for that. I mean, 18 hours on the road, high expectations coming over here, uh, coming out here. All, all of our expectations were probably too high. Probably shot ourselves in the foot a little bit, but we had fun doing it. But this was the first hunt that it paid off. This is what we deserved. We worked so hard. This morning, we learned the hard way by sitting on the edge of the field. These birds won't sit on the field because there's so many coyotes and predators here. So we're like, man, not only one are the birds flying over the middle of this field, every feed field that we found, all of them were in the center of these fields at the bottom of the hills. So we replicated that, covered the blinds really well, and uh, we let them work really hard so they got low. It was, it was beautiful. Manitoba Mallards, baby. It's been a long journey. Been a long journey to get up here, drove 17 hours, finally made it. Was super stoked, probably over anticipated, and uh, kind of a letdown this morning. Just, you know, everything didn't quite line up as planned. But, uh, you know, we sent it in this field, we scouted, we sent it in this field, did something that I've never done, which is basically put layout blinds in a dirt field, a dirt cornfield that's already been churned up, and uh, they absolutely loved it. Didn't have any idea we were there. It was a perfect hide, perfect calling. Everything went just as planned, which usually doesn't happen with me. It's been kind of tough so far, but it absolutely worked out perfect. I am absolutely stoked for what tomorrow has in store. We're gonna be doing something a little bit different. Uh, I think we're gonna be kind of doing layouts in the corn, but different different fields. Right now, we're hopping around. We've got guys scouting all around. Um, for those of you guys that don't know, we're not up here with guys or anything. We're literally just hunting with Colton's buddies, and uh, huge shout out to those guys for helping us out. And just you know, they invited us up. And we're like, hey, we got some, you know, got some birds, got some feeds, and uh, so far, it's it's worked out. Tomorrow. Tomorrow's gonna be epic. How many are we do see out there? Oh my god, there's a lot. More you think that. more than that? A thousand? Oh, at least a thousand, I'd say. There's a lot of birds in there, I bet. Yeah! Yeah! 